I just shot my slick wraps mystery box unboxing video, so I have the setup done, so we're just gonna do it on this tabletop today. All right, welcome back, episode three of All Access, a weekly behind the scenes show for mail time, channel updates, giveaways, and of course the announcement from the winner of last week's um, giveaway. First up, some new cases that arrived, the Rhino Shield FIFA World Series solid suitcases. These guys have little flags on the bottom and the buttons are actually color coordinated to the flag. That's uh, Portugal. And we have Korea and another one. I'm terrible with geometry, I mean geography. Spec also sent over a few of their FIFA Presidio grip cases. These are pretty out there and wicked and awesome. I was sporting the Germany one, this yellow and red one. There's no flags, it's just all color coordination with the flag colors. I like this one just because it reminds me of Iron Man and it's really bright. I've actually had some people comment and say it's pretty cool. Um, and you get that Presidio grip rubber, which is just Amazing. Don't do that in Kramer. Next up, I haven't shown you any bags I received lately, but the big one is the Peak Design Everyday Bag. This one's in the all black because, I mean, just look at it. This is a 20 liter. It's awesome. I've been testing it for about two, three weeks now. I love it. Super comfy and just so smart in like everything it does. There's like straps hidden randomly everywhere. So expect a what's in my bag episode with that bag. And the other bags I received were from Matador. These guys pack super tight, small, and then you can just unpack them. This is the Beast 28. It's a 28 liter, almost like a hiking bag. It could be used as an everyday bag. Rolls out. Look at that. A full-fledged backpack. Water bottle pockets on both sides. Lightweight, I believe it's like a ballistic nylon. Straps are aerated. Aerated, is that a word? There's air pockets in it, kind of. That allows you to breathe. There's even a hip strap. Yeah, there's, there's so much to this one. I also got their camera sleeve kind of pocket thing. It holds your camera and keeps it nice and padded. They have the lens one here, which I have packed in some other goodies. So this is their duffel bag. This little guy unfolds into a 30 liter duffel bag. So that's super convenient. Bring it to travel with you. And then when you need an extra bag, pop this guy open. This even smaller guy is a hip belt. You can see it there. I mean, it's for the cool kids who like do the hip and the, if you like the rock and shit. And then lastly is their pocket blanket 2.0. It just spreads out into like a blanket you can use to picnic or just not sit on dirty ground, you know? And last update, I did buy the iPad Pro 10.5. I was hoping WWDC had an upgrade in the iPad. They didn't like they did last year. So they were probably gonna see an update in September when they released the hardware stuff. So I jumped on the 10.5, 256 gigabytes, mainly because of the smart keyboard combined with the Apple Pencil. This guy is super lightweight and you cannot beat the smart keyboard in like portability and functionality. Just look how thin it is. And then when you don't need it, just tears right off. I've got the Spigen ThinFit for the iPad Pro. I'm a huge fan of Spigen ThinFit series. It's just so nice to touch. I'm trying to speak really fast because I've got a lot to go through. And the Apple Pencil, if you have an iPad Pro, you have to have an iPad Pencil. It's just super productivity on the go. I don't want to carry a laptop. This is so lightweight. I storyboard and um, I write posts and all that good stuff. That's it for mail time. Leave any questions you have on the products I've listed in the, uh, below. Uh, or if you have any questions about my setup on the iPad, leave those below as well. Next, some quick updates. I did film the Spigen Classic 1 and Classic C1 cases. It's a quick overview of the cases I showed last week. I believe they just finished their Indiegogo campaign, so they're probably shipping out to uh, backers. And it will be, I think it is available on Amazon now, so you can actually pick these up yourself. I also filmed a quick review of the KeySmart Pro with the tile integration, which you just tap and it'll signal your phone to kind of trigger a sound. Vice versa, trigger your phone to your key smart. I've had it for several months now. I use this exclusively testing. My go-to now is just two keys and a key loop, which I attack my uh, attack attach my key, uh, not my key, my car thingy to it. So it's just a little guy, built-in flashlight. It's really all I need. Super cool, and they always have a sale on these guys. So I wanted to show you guys what it was all about.
updates on some inventory. I added a bunch of stuff to the thrift shop. They're already selling quite a few, so there might be a few things left only, but I'm constantly adding, so check that out, linked below. New videos in case you missed it. I posted the Ryan Shield Solitude for the iPhone X review, uh, intense drop test as usual, so check that out. For questions about whether you should get the play proof or the solid proof, the solid suit, the main difference is the solid suit has these premium backings as well as these custom designs like the soccer ones I showed earlier. Whereas the play proof, they had the custom designs, but they don't offer that premium backing. And I don't believe you can change the buttons on it as well. So solid suit, a little more, a little more customizability. Play proof is like the basic lineup if you can find it and stay, they still sell it. Okay, my favorite part, Q and A and just responding to some comments of the previous videos. So just leave them below if you want a response to the next video maybe if it's funny enough. First one from Tony Gilo, sorry for butchering your name. Would you ever use your phone without a case? I do it sometimes just to remind me how awesome and great the Joni Ives is in designing stuff. Next question from Juan or Juan Guzman. What is your dream job? Exclamation mark. I'm doing it right now. Creating content, being my own boss. It may seem easy when you post a video and it seems like that's all you do, but there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff to make sure you get paid and to make sure you make enough money so you don't have to live in your uh, parents' attic. Next question, which kind of follows up to that from Nana Kofi Darku. Do you plan to work for a bigger company in the future? I don't. I plan on just building out my own company, my own personal brand. I do have nights where I sit alone in the dark and search LinkedIn or Indeed.com and like try and find jobs that kind of suit my needs, but I never end up finding something that I like. It's just that whole stigma of being alone, not being successful, and just kind of wanting to go back to the corporate world, which I don't really want to do, but it's just... Sometimes it's nice having a paycheck every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Next one from Underrated... I, I K Underrated... Underrated Dick. Underrated. What is your dream car? Um, back in the day, I'm not a huge car guy, but back in the day, it was the Nissan 350Z. It was just a wicked car. I think there's a 370Z now, which looks just as cool. I'm not a huge car guy. Again, I, I'd be cool with a van, which is also my dream car. Next one from Dean Winchester, huge supporter. I know you comment on every video, so I appreciate that. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a wrap a sandwich? Do you use a jailbreak in iPhone? Can an open face be considered a sandwich? Is bread the most important part of a sandwich? All right, question at a time. Is a hot dog a sandwich? It could be. Is a wrap a sandwich? No. Do you use jailbreak in iPhone? I do not. I just I've just I literally just upgraded to 11, iOS 11.4. Can an open face be considered a sandwich? I'm not sure what an open face is. I'm not a sandwich a connoisseur. Uh, I'm gonna say no to that. Is, is bread the most important part of the sandwich? No, because you can have a sandwich with lettuce, which I've seen before, and sounds very tasty and healthy. Next from Armel Lee, what's the most expensive stuff in your EDC that is not your phone? I don't carry a lot on my EDC like on a daily basis because it's the summer and I don't have a lot of pockets and it's really hot so I try and carry less now, but it's probably my Bellroy micro sleeve. Super sleek and slim. These are cool because in the middle slot you squeeze and you have full access but then you have two quick pockets on both sides. It costs a little, a little, a little penny but um, so worth it. They're so nice and um, this leather, you know. EDK asks, what camera lens do you use for your top-down tabletop reviews? I'm using it right now, but uh, let me show you. So I use this camera right here, the a6500 from Sony. I have the 10 to 18 connected right now because I need this kind of wide view for showing everything. But generally, I use the Sony 16 to 70. That's got a great range on it. I have all these grips and accessories like the Rode video mic and the Focus. Unnecessary to make these videos, especially tabletop, but I have it. Um, and I did splurge quite a bit on it. But basically to do tabletop stuff, all you need is two pieces of wood that go like this, and then you just connect your iPhone to the other end of it, and you got some great tabletop footage there. From Hafiz H, what's your favorite case manufacturer? Honestly, I work with them a lot, and you probably know this already. Rhino Shield, they're a great company. They make a great case. Uh, I love those guys. And my second one would probably be Mouse. They're from UK. They're a small brand, but their cases are just amazing. Like I've tested them thoroughly, and I'm surprised what they can do. That's how, like, I'm actually surprised. A little known fact, the Still Union and Notice are two of the first brands I ever reviewed as well. They've supported me all throughout this time, and so I owe everything to them. Amazing people, and I highly recommend checking out their products. And that actually leads into my giveaway from the Still Union. It's actually, let me... They offered to sponsor two pairs of Maglux sunglasses for your father and yourself. I know Father's Day is over and you probably shouldn't count on this giveaway for to get him a gift, but these sunglasses I've tested and shown in every kind of EDC video I've done. They're so amazing, they're so affordable, and they're like indestructible. Like I've, you know, two pairs, details below how to enter, so check that out. But speaking of giveaways, let's check out who's the winner from last week. All right, time to draw the winner. Boop. 
Aaron, I'll email you for your color choice. These things, indestructible. Anyways, like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment below like Ka Chao Wong did for noticing my Crocs, my fake Crocs. Why did that quotation fake? It's just Crocs, which makes it fake. Anyways, I rest my classes. Links down below.